Hi guys, I'm going to be using this one for my video today. Um, this is new. Um, I got it a couple weeks ago. So, I'm going to be talking about Walking Dead in this video and something I'd love you guys to help me with. So, I want to make a map for Blazing Fires, but not till episode 9 comes out, which will be very, very soon, because I'm finally done with it, and I'm going to try my best to get it out today. Um, so, to the Walking Dead subject, um, okay, so episode 8 coming, which means it's going to be the mid-season finale. And we're going to have to wait a couple months till it comes back, which is going to suck, but oh well. Um, so, I know there's some Rickle shippers out there. I don't know how to really pronounce the ship. I think it's, I, I think it's just Rickle. I just call it Rickle. Um, I don't know. I like Carol, the sh that ship, way more than Rickle. Like, I ship them as brothers. Because they're really good friends with each other. And I think that Rick would actually be pretty devastated if Daryl did die. Because he's already come in a mental breakdown that Glenn's dead. It did not fully break him. But since Daryl's probably going to be there a little longer. And it's still time for more him and Rick to bond even more. And since um, Glenn's gone, Rick's going to need... Um, that kind of leaves Daryl for a right-hand man. Daryl was kind of already the right-hand man, but... Glenn was, like, second in charge, or no, like, third in charge, I think. Um, I think that Glenn did make his way up to right-hand man, though, because Daryl was kind of, like, the loner. He wasn't really, like, yeah, but now Daryl is, like, definitely right-hand man, and I agree that Daryl should be a leader, but nope, Rick has to, but Rick has made them come this far. He is awesome and a good leader. I have to give him that. Sure, he has made some bad decisions. But he made a lot of right decisions, too. No one's perfect, I know that. So I can't really be mad at Rick. I know in the past I've ranted about how much of a bad leader he is and how he don't care about his group members. But after this, he cried during Abraham's death. He cried during Glenn's death. He went into a mental breakdown. He still kind of is going through that dark stage. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh, I just tried to clear my throat. But, yeah, I think... Rick, he has been through a lot. Um, I think that they should just give him a break. And Daryl and everyone, like, can we just have... We've had a couple nice episodes, which is good. Like, at the hilltop, that was really good. Thank you for that. But I want Daryl to have one nice episode, which is going to be in episode 8. Which, thank you, Scott Gimble. Thank you. You are awesome for doing that. Thank you. Oh, um, my God, his jaw looks so freaking weird. <laughs> I like his I don't know, this is Steve. Um, by the way, um, in my Walking Dead series, this is going to be our Rick, Derm Shepherd. And yep. But um for the Rickle shippers out there, and actually I've been hoping this too. Not like anything awkward or anything. I, I do somewhat ship it. I there's nothing wrong with it at all. Like if they're gonna they're gay, that's fine. I don't really care. I ship it. But I ship Carolee. Or the Car yeah, I ship Carol more. Or Carly. I call it Carly sometimes. I don't know why. I ship Carol more, though. So, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. But I really do like that ship. It's so freaking cute. There's just something about that woman. Oh, the woman. Okay. There's just something about that woman. The way that she just, like, talk, whenever they have an interaction, it just makes, it melts my heart. It melts all the Daryl and Carol shippers' hearts. The king and queen, Daryl and Carol, the badass, oh, he's not really, he's the, he's the beast, Rick. Carl's a little badass, though. Carol's the queen, Daryl's the crossbow slinging badass. <laughs> yep. It's completely snow outside. Practically the whole road is just caved. I cannot wait for the snow plow to come so I can go with my grandma to the bank to get out some money because my friend and me are going to malls later, so um, okay, back to the thing. So 
technically what I learned from Rayon is Rayon. Shout out to you, Rayon. Go check out his channel. Um, it's Rayon, R-A-Y-O-N, then is, no space, this is, I-S, then Rayon again, which is R-A-Y-O-N. Okay, that's his channel. Go look it up. That's, you don't have to, but he's really good. He's a cool YouTuber. He's really good at editing, better than I am. So, yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not even good at editing, whatever. Um, so, let's get to this. So, we basically said um, that Daryl will finally escape. And he's going to kill Fat Joey after he gets some clothes from Dwight's room. Which means he'll probably get his vest back, which I'm really hoping he does. Because it's really sexy when he has that on. But, whatever. He's sexy in a tracksuit, too. He's sexy. I need help. I swear to God, I really have, I have like a major crush on Daryl, although he's not even real. But yeah, you get like really good connections with TV characters after you watch like the whole series over and over again on Netflix like three, fourteen, fifteen times. Yeah, I I I watch Walking Dead a lot. I have a lot of free time most of the time. Not really though. Um, so. I am, the, okay, um, I'll, I'll talk about my animation thing later, but, there we go, got it, sorry about that, so, what I think is going to happen, so, yep, what Ryan said is that Daryl's gonna kill that Joey still, or Joseph, whatever his name is, yep, uh, so, then, uh, finally we're gonna see, hopefully, the death of Spencer. He's like, Spencer's just gonna walk up, hey, I'm a better leader than Rick! Yeah! And then he, I, like, Rick, then he can kind of defend Rick, and then, you don't have guts Shh. with the knife. Oh, look, you do, they were just inside of you. Yeah, I cannot wait to see that. Then, when Negan kills Spencer... Um, Rosita, the bullet that Eugene made her, um, she's going to shoot at Negan, but she's going to miss and hit Lucille. Good job, Rosita. Good job, you just caused the death of Olivia. I know, I, li I like Olivia. She's awesome. I, she, I, I, yeah. Oh, my God. She can't live to tell the story now that she slapped Negan! Oh, come on! Really, Scott Kimball, can Olivia live? Can someone else die, maybe? Like, Tobin? Tobin, can, can we kill off Tobin, please? Kill off Tobin. Kill off Tobin. Daryl and Carol for life. Tobin is standing in the way of that. He must die. He must die. I think they get a little too carried away with Walking Dead. Okay, but then after that, Rick's going to come back. He, Michelle's going to let whatever her name is go. Isabel, I think her name is. She's going to head back. Rick's going to be sitting in a cell. Or the cell that Morgan made. Kind of like curl up in a ball. I think, um, and then Michonne and him start talking, and then Rick's finally like, yes, we're gonna fight, finally, so we're gonna see our old Rick again, which is going to be great, like the beast, the actual leader that we all come to know and love, not this broken, emotional one that isn't really fighting back, but yeah, I cannot wait for them to fight back, then they're gonna be heading off to the hilltop. Which means also Daryl's going to be coming out of the Savior's place. And then he's going to find Dar Jesus hot wiring a car. <laughs> Screw you, Team Mobile. I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> he's going to find Jesus hot wiring a car. Or no, motor motorcycles. They're both going to get on motorcycles and head to the hilltop. And then also, um, some people are going to be taking a liking to Maggie. Good, good job, Maggie. I love you. Miss you. I mean, yeah, you only got one episode to yourself. And then she's probably going to be sad with Glenn. And, oh my god, I miss Glenn too, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, um, so. Yeah, we're going to check in on Maggie and Sasha. And people are going to be taking a liking to Maggie. They're going to be interested in Maggie and all that stuff. And Gregory's going to get jealous. But screw you, Gregory. No one likes you anyways, you Sometimes my mom watches my YouTube. I can't really swear. So, yeah. 
And then mostly my little brother, Zach, watches my YouTube. So. Yeah. Okay, back to the thing. So, yeah, they're going to be heading up to the hilltop. And we're going to be seeing a big family reunion, which I'm hoping everybody gets hugs. Like, Rick hugs Maggie, Sasha, and everyone start hugging. Like, everyone hugs. And then, <clears throat> for you Rickle shippers, I cannot wait to see Daryl and Rick hug because I've been, like, chanting for this moment. I know it's not really a sign of weakness. It's just a sign of friendship to me. But, God, I've been waiting for this. Like, in episode four, I've just been, like, screaming at Daryl, jump out of the thing, run up, and just, like, grab onto Rick and be like, no, I'm not leaving. Screw you. I wanted him to be like that. Um, I bet he cannot wait to get real food instead of dog food sandwiches. And luckily that he's not listening to Easy Street anymore. Um, yeah, I wonder how their reactions are going to be because you never really know what the characters are going to do anymore, to be honest. Though they're really following to the comics and I sadly don't read the comics. I'm starting to read the comics now. Um, I watch YouTube videos of the comics, so. Yeah, they're really sticking to the comics now. Um, and I've been looking up parts of the comics. So, yeah, all out war, I'm really hoping for that pretty soon. So, all in all, a really good ending. Everybody's going to come back in a family reunion. I really hope that Rick and Daryl just don't give each other nods or that little hand thing that they do. I just want a hug. I want to see one hug. Then, episode 10, season 7 of Walking Dead, that's when we're going to see Daryl and Carol finally together. They're going to both share two hugs and hopefully maybe a kiss on the cheek or forehead. If we're lucky, on the lips. But I doubt that's going to happen right now. Daryl's not really in the best state of mind at the moment. Carol's not. She's getting there, but she's not in the best state of mind at the moment. So, yeah, but she'll get there soon. And then maybe their relationship can blossom. Um, I think that Daryl, he's going to be around for quite some time. If he does take a death, um, I'd say he either die during the whisper thing, or the whispers. Or he may take um, Nicholas's death in the comics. And I do know how Nicholas, is, Nicholas dies. He does take a blade for Rick. Or like a knife for Rick. And then he like bleeds out and they can't save him. But uh, Daryl does go down. I'm kind of hoping that he does go down that way. But I don't want to see him go down at all. Like I want to see him make it to the very end. So yeah. Um. So guys thanks for watching. Um. I'll talk about my animation thing now. So I am working on it. Um. It's going to be about Mufasa and his story and stuff. I know I do crappy animations, but hey, at least I do animations. Uh, I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you for following the development of this channel. I love you. I don't say that much, I know, but seriously, guys, I do love you. Thank you so much for following the development of this channel and just sticking around and watching my videos. You guys are all awesome. I love you all. Stay strong. Um, if you ever need someone to talk to, I do check my com or the comments on my YouTube. So I try, I try my best to reply to everyone. Though I don't really get that much comments on my comments on my YouTube, on my YouTube videos. So, um, yeah. So I'll I I will reply to you. Yeah. Um. So thank you for watching. If you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.